Hi, this is George. In this video, we are going to see about pair trading using straddle. We have already seen a video on pair trading using ratio spread. If you have not seen the video, you can, I am giving you in the description, you can go through that before getting into this video for getting more clarity on pair trading. So let's get into this strategy. Before that, uh, please do subscribe to this channel. Also join our telegram channel for mission updates. And please do like the video if you genuinely like it. Let's get into the video. So this is a, yet another interesting strategy in option selling where it is like a kind of it is again a no loss or minimum loss strategy and capital required in this is 1.25 lakhs. So pair trading is nothing but we are going to trade in both the index that is Nifty and Bank Nifty and the capital required in Nifty is 1 lakh and Bank Nifty is 25 lakh. So generally we do bank like pair trading like where it is like a, we'll go short in one index and we'll go long in one index. So one will be like hedging the other that is the principle behind this so as we know like uh, between nifty and bank nifty bank nifty is more volatile so we go on long on bank nifty and we go short on nifty so that if market is more volatile bank nifty's price will go so more so that we'll be collecting more premium than nifty so that is the, re the reason that we are going short on nifty and we are going long on bank nifty and in this video, I have given manual backtesting for the last 18 weeks. In this again, absolutely no adjustment is needed. So it is very much suitable for working professionals and part-time traders. And one interesting thing about this video is like, uh, this is something my one of my YouTube subscribers has suggested this video in a different approach. He has uh, kind of uh, reversed this, like he wanted me to do uh, a back test and give uh, like uh, how bad nifty if we short and nifty if we go long, how this will work with a monthly range and he had asked me to do something. But uh, I finally found this to be giving a little bit more better returns than the previous one though it is again not very good returns but still it is a uh, overall it is a good return if we compare with, with uh, mutual funds and all so what one point i want to highlight is like if suppose you like my videos and if you have subscribed to it and if you like want to do some of your uh, strategy it might be even a crazy strategy that you have thought about and if suppose you don't know how to do it in offshore you don't have access to offshore and if you want someone to do that for you then please do ping me and you can ask me your or like uh, your strategy so I can help in uh, doing the back test and giving you the results. If it is a good result, then I can like post it in the public forum as well. So please uh, be knowing that uh, I will, if it is successful thing, then I will let it uh, can run in the open forum so that it will be useful for everybody. I don't want to say it is my strategy or strategy. If it is useful, let it be for everybody's uh, usefulness. So that is one thing that I want to stress in this. And disclaimer, this is only for educational purpose. Please do research before taking any trade. This is not a recommendation, but just my view. So in this strategy, when are we going to enter? It is like, like the previous expiry at 9.30 a.m. And we are going to exit on the expiry day at 9.30 a.m. of the current week. So that we can do the expiry trade between 9.30 a.m. till the end of the day of the trading day. So in this, what we are going to do is sell ATM call and put option in Nifty and buy ATM call and put option in Bank Nifty. Say for example, Nifty is trading at 16,000. We sell 16,000 call and put in Nifty. And say suppose if Bank Nifty is trading at 38,000, we buy 38,000 call and put in Bank Nifty. So this is the table of uh, how the 18 weeks performance in Nifty shorting and Bank Nifty long. <coughs> Overall, you see the uh, summary as well. Let me take you to the Opstra for more clarity. So in this you can see like uh, 26th May has given a very good result. Let me back. Let me show you the result on 26th of May. So we are entering on 19th of May at 9.30. So Nifty's ATM is 15,950. So 15,950 we will be shorting both the sides. And let me set this up for and Nifty as well. So we saw like it is on 26th May. So we entering at 19, exiting at 26th. ATM here is 33,400. We are going to go long here. Okay, so let's see. By 26th of May, 
we get a profit of 11,900 here and we also get actually a profit of 5,600 almost here that's that's what i would have shown here so both the sides we have got profit which means bank nifty that we have long have moved a bit like 33 400 was where we have bought both the side almost premium for 1000 and market has moved above 1000 points you can see 33 400 to 34 600 which is roughly 1250 points so we are going to get a little premium profit here but in the case of nifty where we have shot at 5950 with the total premium of around 400 market has hardly moved 130 points and that is the reason we are going to get profit in this side as well so this is one of the rare scenario where we are going to get both the sides profit you can see like out of the 80 mix no other week has happened like this so this is a best case scenario where bank nifty has moved much and nifty has not moved much let us go to the worst case scenario now i'll like take you to the in terms of absolute number it is 12th of may so maybe i can show you the 12th of may also only so for 12th of may we'll be entering at 5th of may and closing at 12th of may so the atm price here is 16800 so 16800 we are going to short both the sides and which was the week 12th expiry so 5th we will be entering 12th we will be exiting thirty five six hundred. we are going to go long on both the sides now let's see what is the result for nifty and man nifty so by 12th of may nifty has like moved so much we have shorted it at 16800 it has moved almost 1900 points a very very volatile moment which we have never expected nobody would have expected so we are ending in a very big loss of 25000 if bank nifty also had supported with such a great uh, moment in if, as we saw in nifty then we could have ended in profit but that was not the case though it has nifty has moved almost 900 points generally bank nifty should move 2.5 times almost to like a, that is what is like a, a like total ones for us to be like kind of maybe breaking and also but here it has moved only 1500 points which is not even two times so here the profit is only 3920 can see so that is the reason we are getting total loss of 11485 we'll see one more case of 5th may where it is it will be kind of opposite so in this case nifty has moved and bank nifty has not moved we'll go to the case of 5th may of expiry which means 28th april we would have started the trade and atm is 1700 so we are going to go short on 1700 nifty both sides and let's see what it will be for bank nifty 28th of april we are starting 5th may is exiting expiry atm is 36000 so we are going to go long on 36000 so in this let's see what is happening in nifty we have entered on 1700 and market has moved almost like uh, 300 points maybe and we have collected almost 350 points so we are ending in 3000 profit and in bank nifty we see like we have ended at 36000 and market has hardly moved 400 points so again we are ending in a loss of 14000 so here it is only 3000 profit and here it is 14000 loss so again we are ending at 10,000 loss. In this case, we saw like Nifty has moved much and here Bank Nifty has not moved much. Uh, similarly, in this case, again, we saw the opposite where Nifty has uh, little moved and Bank Nifty has totally not moved. Here we saw Nifty moving very drastically and that is the reason we see the loss in both sides. And we'll see one more case of 19th May where we have seen some positive. So 19th of May, we'll be entering on 12th of May. 
the 19th of May should be the expiry and the ATM of Bank Nifty is 3400 will be going along both the sides in Bank Nifty so again here if it is for 12th of May then is it 12th of May so it is 19th of May it's not 12th of May it is 19th of May so 50, 9.50 is the ATM we'll see what happened in Nifty 50, 9.50 we have done and market has come the almost the same place so we have got so much premium we collected around 14, 140 let's see what it has happened for Bank Nifty 3400 was our price and market is ending at 33 for it has moved a bit so if it has not moved then again we would have ended in a very big loss but as it has moved almost like a 700 almost points so the loss is relatively less so 9300 and profit is 14000 so we can see 14000 9000 we are ending in 4700 so the overall summary you can see like out of 18 weeks 11 weeks are profitable which turns out to be 61 percent of profitable weeks and overall profit is like 17000 so average profit per week is 946 so return of investment is not that good it is only 3 percent but still if suppose you are uh, someone who doesn't want to take more risk anyway 3 percent will turn out to be more than at least 36 percent per annum which is a very very big good return so it is totally up to you if you want you can use this strategy and we close it in the morning as i told in the previous slide uh, so that we can do the expiry trades or suppose if you don't want to do expiry trades you can just hold on and you can do some adjustment on the losing side to get uh, to do some adjustment to collect more premium and little more you can mitigate the losses here so this is uh, again a good strategy not so great strategy but as i said before it is like some somebody else uh, like uh, told me and i'm little more working on this strategy to make it more profitable by doing some other adjustments which i might try to come up with in the next week so thanks for watching this video please do uh, let me know if you have some strategy however crazy it may be and if suppose it is turns out to be successful i will definitely share it in the open forum thank you we'll see in the next week